President Trump choosing Amy Coney Barrett, as you know, as Supreme Court justice picked Saturday. You knew that. Uh, it's an election year battle. Democrats are threatening to move, uh, make a move, even though they're powerless, but packing the court if Joe Biden wins and they get the Senate. Here with the potential political implications, Florida GOP Congressman Matt Gates, author of the new book, Firebrand, and we'll get to that in a second. But on this, it looks like October 12th, Lindsey Graham says we're going to start the hearings and we hope to get a vote before November 3rd. Is that okay? Well, Democrats have signaled that they will use every procedural tool at their disposal to delay this confirmation, and every hour is precious. So Senate Republicans need to pick up the pace. It is not acceptable to delay hearings until October 12th. We should be having hearings next week. Now, the reason Chairman Graham has the current schedule is because you would normally allow time for the nominee to meet with the leadership and the members of the Judiciary Committee on both sides. But Schumer and almost all Senate Democrats have said they won't even meet with Judge Barrett. And so with them threatening to call procedural votes, potentially even impeach Bill Barr, call up a war powers resolution to try to jam the calendar, we need to treat every day and every hour as an opportunity to tell the story of this great nominee and to advance her confirmation. Congressman, one of the things is she's already written how bad the Obamacare Act is. Now, John Roberts was wrong not to punt it uh, on, on the Obama years. People were nervous in the coronavirus era that we're in the middle of, of losing health health care. How do you battle that if you're a Republican strategist or a, or a Supreme Court nominee? Uh, I think you reject the premise that Obamacare is the best way to take care of folks during a pandemic. What we've seen in Obamacare is a limit to the access of health care, rising premiums, a destruction of the individual market, and more challenges on the small businesses that we need to thrive in America's rebound following coronavirus. So I still don't think that running on the long-term uh, you know, endurance and, and assistance of Obamacare is going to be a great strategy for Democrats. All right. Also, uh, this is good news for people in Florida. It's uh, have at it. Go out to eat. You can go to a bar. So you have some freedom there and see if your numbers continue to tick down because you could be the template uh, for the rest of the country where cases are going up slightly and uh, so are hospitalizations. All right, let's talk about Firebrand. Dispatches from the front line of the MAGA revolution. Why were you an instant convert and why do some others just not on board? Uh, I think that there are a lot of folks in both parties who hope that Donald Trump is a one-off, an aberration. But I think that this new energetic populism needs to be here to stay. Donald Trump has led a political realignment in our country where Republicans are no longer wanting to invade everywhere and invite every illegal immigrant across our borders illegally while impoverishing every town in our country with trade deals that benefit multinational corporations instead of our people. So I wrote Firebrand to be my invitation to the country to keep the good times rolling and ensure that we're able to advance this Trump agenda well beyond his presidency, which I expect to last an additional four years. And in Florida, you're not going to be able to burn us down or lock us down. The rioters are going to get extra punishment thanks to our Governor Ron DeSantis. And uh, we're going to let our people live free and go out and make good choices, hopefully make good sanitary choices. And I think that's uh, likely going to lead to greater success in the Sunshine State. And you just brought that up, too. And that's going to be one of the topics Chris Wallace is going to bring up. Race relations, the riots slash protesters, and what it all means. That's a major thing in the city. So if you want the inside story on the President Trump once he took office, uh, Matt Gates provides it in Firebrand. Good job, Congressman. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Brian. You got it.